Hey guys, it is Freshly Squeezed Gaming here, and today I'm here for another juicy cast. And today, I'm obviously going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Now, I am really excited for this, so let's just get straight into it. So, this thing looks awesome. So, basically the first thing I want to talk about is how the NX looks and how and what I think it will be capable to do. So, it looks, it does not look sturdy at all. It looks like it will be very easy to break, like the gamepad, and as you can see, you can take off the sides, and, um, and yeah, you can, um, put them into the Wii to, um, project them from your screen. It's basically a hybrid of a console and a handheld. You can take it on the go, or you can put the two controllers into um, a stand type of thing um, in your TV and then um, you can play on the TV on the couch so I think what I'll be doing most of the time is console because just cuz just cuz I like that better or I might just go chill in my room and play it but anyway I think this will be able to do a lot like a lot like Virtual reality, a lot of people are talking about that. I honestly don't think they'll do virtual reality with the NX, or Nintendo Switch as it is now. I still call it NX, <laughs> but NS. So, um, I don't, I honestly don't think that they're going to be doing virtual reality. Maybe in the future they will do that. Maybe for the um, next console that Nintendo makes, but it's a really big hit right now and a lot of other companies are doing it so I honestly don't think they're gonna do it they might for the next console like I said but anyway so yeah overall I think it will be sturdy but it will be fragile and, and it will be easy to break so now let's get into the game so the first game shown was Breath of the Wild we all know that was coming to the NS and um and then um we saw like Skyrim and all this other stuff, but this is what I'm excited for. After that, they showed they showed Mario Kart 8, and we all know that we probably figured that it would be ported to that. But when I saw King Boo, I knew they were going to be adding exclusive content to this. So I'm really excited because I'm a huge Mario Kart fan. And I love the games, and I'm really excited that they'll be, they'll probably be porting it and adding exclusive content, not DLC, but yeah, basically. But it'll be all free, and it'll come with the game. So, yeah. Now let's talk about the new 3D Mario game. It looked, it had a weird perspective, different from Super Mario 3D World. It was like, kind of first person and not like an overview of everything. It was kind of like Super Mario 64 a little bit, except you could see your person, but you could see where I'm coming from. It was, it had a pretty cool perspective that I, like Super Mario 3D Land, that's, that's what it was a lot, but it was in HD. And I'm not sure about the players for this or anything, but I'm not going to go off topic with talking about the games. It kind of looked like a demo. It was definitely a different gameplay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It kind of looked like a demo, honestly. I mean, I'm sorry to say that, but it, it didn't really look polished. I saw the town thing. It, it didn't look polished. I, I hope it's not a demo and those are actual levels. Like, the town thing, it looked like a hub. Anyway, that game looks pretty good and I like it and yeah, I'm excited for both of those games. Now let's get to the Splatoon. So, it's probably, it might be um, a Splatoon um, 2, it might not be, we're not sure yet, but it, I saw there was new costumes and a new map, so it's probably the same thing they're doing for Mario Kart 8, which is um, putting exclusive content into the original Splatoon, so I think that's the, what they will end up doing with that. So. Now let's talk about this extra stuff. So now I want to talk about 
third party support. So, the Wii U didn't have that, but you can kind of obviously see that they're doing this because they just have they have a lot of stuff. They have they had an NBA game they showed. Uh, that's probably not going to be on it. That might have been a test demo, but we saw a lot of other weird games. And we also saw this thing where they were at a convention and they had like a tournament type of thing. No. I could see them doing this. I could definitely see them having tournaments like they did with the Wii U. I think this is going to be pretty good. This is going to be a pretty good system. I, I, I could see this having a lot more sales than the Wii U did. Now I want to talk about campaign ads. Now I think they will have commercials. I hope they have it before it comes out because the Wii U did not. And yeah, that's pretty much my point right there. So I want to talk about sales and prices and all that stuff. So with the sales, like I said, I think it will sell more. And I'm thinking of getting it, like maybe like, I don't know, I, I want to get it as soon as possible after it comes out because I really, I really want this console. I might wait a month or so, but um, anyway. Basically the last thing before I um, end the video is I want to talk about the price. What I think. Now I think it will be around $300 and I say that because it's basically a handheld and the console hybrid consoles are usually 500 but it doesn't really have its own system like the Wii U did. It's just the stand. It's basically the handheld that you can project onto your TV so I see it as more of a handheld than um, a console. So I think it will be around $300. As you can see here on the gameplay, um, they're having this tournament type of thing, and that's what I talked about earlier. I could definitely see us doing this at E3 and all that stuff. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for the Juicy Cast. By the way, I forgot to mention that the release date was March 2017. Now I think they'll have like a direct type of thing in a couple months showing the release date and the price and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this juicy cast. And yeah, see you guys next time for another video.